I have not seen you in a long time. Yes, yes. And uh, my, my my problem is that in the in the evening I work. Usually I'm working, so it's difficult for me to try to uh, use Weibling uh, to improve English. So, but uh, right time. <laughs> Okay, well good. I'm glad to see you back. Hopefully you're not too, too busy this week. Hopefully it's very relaxing, very stress-free. Yes, uh, yes. <laughs> All right. Um, Have you changed the color of the hair? Of my hair? Yes, you, you have changed the color? Mm -mm. No. I don't no. think so. Why? Does it look <laughs> lighter or darker? Sorry? Does it look lighter or darker? Lighter. It looks lighter? Hmm. Yeah. No. <laughs> no? <laughs> no, maybe maybe I've been in the sun? Maybe? I don't know. Ah, okay. <laughs> or maybe okay. it's the light. There's a okay. fan with a light. I don't know. But no. <laughs> okay. All right. Um... Okay, let me say hello to Andre. Hi, Daniel. Uh, hello, how are you today? I'm good. And how are you? I'm very good, thanks. All right. Um, and let's see, uh, Natalie. Hello, how are you today? Hey, Natalie. Hello? Hello? Oh, no. Okay. All right. Giancarlo, hello again. Hello again, teacher. <laughs> welcome to class. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Um, let's see. So, this is a listening class. Um, I don't know if any of y'all have been in my previous listening classes. Andre, were you in my last listening class? Yes, you're right. It was yesterday. <laughs> okay. When it got dropped? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I wanted to do another class because it got dropped. Um, I It disconnected me. And I tried to join again, but it told me the class was full, and it wouldn't let me join. So oh. I talked to Verbling, and now they fixed the problem. So if it happens today, uh, I can get back in. So don't worry. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes uh, when teachers uh, uh, want to join, rejoin the classes, uh, Google Plus thinks that they are students and they can, they, it doesn't let uh, you, for example, to enter. Exactly, yeah, that's exactly what was happening. So uh, me and another teacher talked to Verbling about it because uh, it happened to both of us. And uh, I, I think Verbling said they, they fixed the problem. So hopefully, hopefully we don't yeah. have to find out. <laughs> okay. Very good. Well, nice to see all of y'all. Glad y'all are in class. Um, so, I'm going to give you the link. And what we're going to do is um, we are going to have a little discussion first. And then we are going to play the audio. And then after, we will answer the questions together as a class. Okay? Does this make sense to everyone? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, there's the link. And my question is, uh, what is one one way that you can live a healthy life? So what's one healthy option that you can do? Uh, go ahead, Pietro. What's one healthy thing people do? Sorry, <laughs> can you repeat? Uh -huh. uh, yeah. yeah, so what's something um, that people do to yeah. stay healthy? 
to be healthy. Okay. In uh, in Italy, in general, or okay, okay. Uh, for example, uh, it's very useful to go to the the gym, and uh, and it's very important uh, to, for example, ER in Italy uh, to eat uh, uh, the Mediterranean diet. The diet, mm -hmm. so, for diet. example, uh, very. Yes, and uh, it's different from American diet <laughs> because, uh, uh, for example, uh, we use uh, oil and uh, mm -hmm. not uh, other kind uh, of uh, grass. Uh, no, I don't know. Of Maybe. grass? Yes. No. Um, grass is like out on, on someone's yard. No, 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 no. Oil no, or something. Like oil or maybe... Uh, uh -huh. oh, yeah. Oil. Yes, uh, butter. Excuse me, butter. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay, because uh, in in Italy use uh, oil uh, from uh, and and not butter, and uh, okay. so it's bad. Yes, it's better for uh, your uh, health, and uh, so. Yes, it's in Italy uh, we use uh, uh, Mediter Mediterranean uh, diet, diet, so diet, diet. So, mm -hmm. and I think that's very useful for uh, be healthy. To be healthy, good. Yeah. All right, very good. All right, uh, let me say hello to Norel. Hi, Daniela. How are you? Very nice good. How are you? How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Good. What have you been up to? Ah, Sajin. <laughs> the what? Sajin, English. <laughs> Searching for learning English, studying English? Yeah. Yes. Nice. Well, good. Glad to have you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, Giancarlo, what is mm -hmm. one thing you can do to be healthy or that people people can do to be healthy? Yeah, Daniel, there are some things we need to take into consideration in general. The most important part is to eat well. Fresh mm -hmm. vegetables, not so red meat, not so much red meat, mm -hmm. drink water, uh, eat fruit, go to mm -hmm. the gym maybe, do exercise. Doing exercise is a good uh, activity we normally do, we have to do in a normal day. You can just and say exercise in English. You don't have to say do exercise. You can just say exercising. Make. Just exercise. Uh, you don't. You don't need do or make. I know. Uh, okay. I know. In Spanish, it has it, but in English, it doesn't. Okay. We 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 need we need to exercise. Is it mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. We need to exercise. We need to exercise. Mm -hmm. And of course, the first thing we consider is sleep well. Mm-hmm. We need to sleep eight hours at least, eight, nine, or ten hours at least, just to recover, um, recover energy, mm -hmm. and to feel well the next day. Good. It works for me. When I sleep eight hours a night, I feel perfectly well the next day. So I consider those aspects important ones. Good. Nice, Giancarlo. Perfect. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, Andre. What's something we can do to be healthy? Uh, I agree with everything that was uh, said before. Uh, okay. Of course, uh, exercise, exercise, uh, eat healthy, sleep mm -hmm. enough, uh, and uh, maybe I can add that we need to have to listen to our bodies. Uh, I think, uh, I mean, uh, it's like uh, it helps us to. Uh, how to say? Uh, I, I read somewhere that uh, we forgot how to listen to our bodies. We don't listen. We just uh, mm -hmm. uh, do what we need to do, what we mm -hmm. have to do. But uh, in that case, we like uh, overuse or uh, stress our bodies. Maybe because of that, we become ill and this. Good. Good point. Yeah, we should listen to our bodies. If they're yeah. saying, I'm tired, 
maybe we should go to bed. If yeah. you're saying, yeah, exactly. Maybe we should sleep, uh, uh, for example, 20 minutes. I think it will be great for to uh, become so like, less stressful. For yes, exactly. I know I love when I get a chance to have my 20-minute naps. They're amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let me say hello to Ken. Yes, hello. How are you? Very good. How are you? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. Good. All right. Welcome to class. Um, okay, Narelle, is there an, another thing you can add for us to be healthy? Well, um, I think they say everything, which I agree with, and it's great. Uh, I want to just add something. Uh, in my case, I eat less, and I work a lot. And also, I don't skip breakfast. According to some scientists, breakfast is very important. And you uh, do or you don't? I don't. Good. I do not. I do Good. not skip. I do not skip the breakfast, and uh, I don't eat late at night. That is also important. Not eating yeah. late into the night. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you can add to your uh, diet uh, wheat, grain, uh, vegetable. Mm -hmm. as my colleague said. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Good. Nice. All right. And Ken, is there anything else that we can do to be healthy? Mm -hmm. I, uh, uh, I don't uh, eat. Uh, you don't eat? Maybe three, three hours before I, yeah, I don't eat. I, I drink, uh, you know. Not not alcohol kind of water or <laughs> arp tea. Okay. Uh, because during sleeping I need rest my uh, so so before three hours going to bed mm -hmm. I don't eat any. Okay. Uh, Ken, you're cutting out kind of bad, but I still understand you. So you don't eat uh, three really? hours before bed, right? Yeah before, yeah, before I go to bed. So uh -huh. now I'm drinking herb tea. Herbal okay. tea. So you drink yeah. herbal tea. Okay, <laughs> and good. Yeah, caffeine also heals on my sleep. So. <laughs> Wait, say it again? Caffeine? What? Uh, caffeine is also hinging on my sleep. Caffeine. Caffeine. Uh, so green tea or coffee, I don't drink it. Drink, yeah, I don't drink, drink it. Uh, before oh, okay. I go to bed. So, I okay, herbal so now. herbal. Okay, okay. So the the stuff with caffeine you don't drink before bed because it'll yeah. keep you awake. Yes, yes. Okay, <laughs> very good. All great advice. Okay, so now that we've talked a little bit about healthy things, we are going to listen to the first uh, clip, and here is the link for all of y'all. Um, and go ahead and mute yourself so we don't hear the echo when you play your clip. So I'm going to give you time. Type to me when you are finished. Okay? But you can begin.
Pietro, are you ready? Pietro? Yes, yes, I'm ready, I'm ready. Oh, okay, perfect. Okay, all right, good. Um, okay, let's go ahead and start with you then. Number one, read it for us. Okay, what does the man want to do? Mm -hmm. Play basketball with friend from work, try out for the company baseball team, get in shape and complete an inner cycle race. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe it, the, the, the answer is A, play basketball with friend from work. Good. Okay. Perfect. And this is pronounced cycling. Okay, cycling race. Good. Perfect. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, number two. Let's see. Uh, Giancarlo. Number two. What is a woman's main concern? Letter C. She's concerned about her husband's health. Mm -hmm. And what specifically is she afraid of? She's afraid of uh, her husband because she could suffer from from a heart attack and she mentioned that he's not in, in health, I mean she's not fit, in fit. He's not in shape? Sport. In shape, sorry. Uh -huh. He's not in shape to play mm -hmm. a sport. So okay. he, need, he needs to see a doctor and all that kind of stuff, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> he's not in the best shape to be playing sports, yeah. And he, his wife is concerned that he will have a heart attack, good. All right, uh, Ken? Number three. Number three. Uh, what is the woman's first suggestion to her husband? I couldn't get this part, but sounds like her husband needs to um, no, uh, should start with a light workout. Mm, I think it's actually that he should see a doctor. Doctor. Okay. Because she says that he needs to get a physical before which to go get a physical is like mm -hmm. you go to the doctor and he just makes oh, sure that everything is okay with your body. Go, go to a physical. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. me doctor, okay. Yeah, okay. so to get a physical, uh, it's, it's like going to the doctor to get, okay. to get an exam of your body to make sure mm -hmm. you're healthy. Like medical or, checkup. Uh huh. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Let's see. Norel, number four. Four. Okay. What does the woman advise about the man's diet? Okay. Um. That we should add more protein. Okay. Um. She says that he um, should eat less uh, fatty foods. I think you are right. All right, and number five, Andre. Uh, why does the man's wife uh, recommend cycling? Uh, it helps uh, strengthen the heart. Good. And I think cardiovascular system. <laughs> good, <laughs> good. Yep, she was talking about the cardiovascular system. And yay, we got a hundred. Great job, guys. Okay, are there questions from things you heard in the listening that you don't understand? No? Okay. I think it's clear. Okay, perfect. All right, then we will do the next one. Uh, so this one is about college majors. So here you go. Here's the link. Um, Okay. Da, 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 da. Okay. So I'm just gonna have you this time. We're not gonna do the discussion before because I want you to get a lot of time to actually listen. Uh, so this time we are just going to listen to the video. So go ahead and mute yourself, and you can click play.
Okay, everyone ready? Giancarlo? Maybe. Okay, don't don't teacher. Oh, okay. Perfect. All right. Um okay. So let's see. Start us off, Giancarlo. Number one. Okay. Number one. Where does the conversation most likely take place? Uh it's uh letter letter B in a university classroom. Good. And why do you think that? Mm, because normally we have chats in mm -hmm. the in that kind of place when we talk about a subject or any other thing. Good. All right. Good guess. All right, uh, Norel, number two. Number two. Uh, what year is the woman in college? The woman is in uh, third year. She's a senior. Mm, senior is in third year. Oh, sorry, she's in fourth year. Uh -huh. uh, she still has ten uh, credits to finish. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, so senior is the fourth year. So um, what are the other three years? So we have freshman. Freshman, good. It's first year. We have sophomore is the second. Uh huh. Uh, we have junior is the third year. Yep. And we have senior is the fourth. Good. Yeah. Perfect. All right, very good, Nurel. Um, Andre, number three. Uh, which statement is not true about her pain? For college, uh, I think that uh, she's currently paying student loans. Yep, I think you're right. Uh, number four, uh, Ken. Yes. Uh, what is the future job situation? Uh, I think C. She hopes to have interviews with different companies soon. Yes. Very good. All right. Let me say hello to David. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm very good. Welcome to class. Good, I'm glad. Okay, um just so you have the link. Here is the link we are using. Please type again. Okay, thank you. Got it? Okay. All right, very good. Um, and Pietro, number five. What uh, what surprising information do you find out at the end of the conversation? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. No. I don't know what is the the, the answer. Uh, maybe E, the woman's dating the man, the business teacher. No, that would be surprising, but it. It's her father. So the man's professor is the girl's father. Okay. It's her dad. Yeah. Because she says, "Don't, don't talk bad about him. Don't bad mouth him. Bad mouth means don't talk bad about my dad, right?" Okay. Mhm. Mm Does everyone know bad mouth? Bad mouthing? No. 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 So you can say, don't go around bad mouthing people. It means don't don't speak negatively about the person. Okay. So like talking about their flaws, talking about things you don't like about them, that's like bad mouthing them. It means to make them look worse than they are or seem worse than they are okay when you go around talking to people does that make sense mm -hmm. yeah. yes okay all right so good um okay was there any any questions from any of this oh wait let's look at our final score good 100 
Um, was there any questions from these or anything you heard in the audio that you don't understand? Yeah, please, uh, Daniela. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I'm not sure if I hear the, the, what I'm going to say, but um, I think I heard uh, her father said in the lecture, kissing a dictionary. Kissing? Like, no. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, is is that correct? What I heard? Oh, I don't think so. I don't remember hearing that. Something about dictionary. Kissing a dictionary. Hold on. Oh man, do you do you remember what where it was? At the end. At the, At end, the end. When 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 the man starts to complain about his business class, and he says that the professor always. They told them to be realistic and uh, achieve goals, and especially kissing a dictionary. <laughs> Something huh. like okay, I will have to listen to it again while you listen to the next to the next audio clip. Okay, okay? thank you. Thank okay. You. <laughs> yep. Because I don't I don't remember kissing a dictionary. That would be fun. At the end. Completely okay. At the end. Okay. Thank Good. You. I will I will find it. Um, any other questions? No? Yes? Maybe? No, oh. not already. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> All right. This one is going to be searching for a career. So here is this. Oh. Okay. Okay, so here you go. Here is the link. And y'all can go listen to it now. Uh, David, do you see the link? You're going to click on it and hit play. And then okay. type to me when you are finished listening. After, we will discuss the questions as a class. Okay? Yeah, okay, okay. Okay. Perfect.
Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> I thought I was muted. I realized I wasn't. I apologize. Um, okay, so it says um, the only place that success comes before work is in the dictionary. Okay, not kissing. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. All right. Um, okay, so let's start with, let me see if I can, oh. Share my screen here. I think this is okay. So, um, let's see. David, number one, read it for us. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what kind of career does the woman want to pursue? Uh, you want to uh, read uh, the question or answer? The answer to? Just answer, right? Um, uh -huh. The answer, um, I think, is. The woman wants to major in mechanical engineering. <laughs> I, I'm not sure. Uh, but that's that's the major. So what kind of career? Career is like your job. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh career. No, I think it's it's a pretty hard. It's interesting in uh, repairing of. Maintaining car uh, vehicle. Good, perfect. Yep. So, what kind of career does she want? She is interested in repairing and maintaining cars and other vehicles. Good. So, B is the correct answer. Very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. I yeah, I to me, but I was a little bit confused between B and C. Why C couldn't be the right answer? Uh because the career, career is your job. Remember, major is only during school. It's like your degree. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why, I mean, it's slightly different. So major is like mechanical engineering, right? But then her career is, for example, being, being a mechanic, right? The career is the uh huh exactly, uh -huh. and the major is mechanical engineering, right? Oh, I think yeah, I, I got it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. Uh, okay. Let's see. Mm, Ken, number two. Okay. Right now, the woman's boyfriend is getting a degree in the medical field. Mm-hmm. Very good. All right. Uh, number three, Andre. Uh, what does Ryan think about Jane's future career? Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, I think he feels that James is pursuing a job designed for women. Mm-hmm. Yep. Very good. Uh, for John Carlo. For Alliance, yeah, that women are most suited for jobs in uh, education and office work. Mm-hmm. Very good. And let's see, Pietro, number five. Okay. At the end of the conversation, the man ends up, and maybe the correct is B taking care on his own car. Good. Okay. Perfect, guys. Good job. Um, <laughs> okay, are there questions on this? On any of the vocabulary or the stuff from the clip? So a woman talks fast, so it, 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 it was a bit difficult. To was it hard? Uh, the woman's part. <laughs> she talks very fast. So sorry, but it's a good Shana. challenge. Yeah, because uh, in actual conversation, people sometimes talk fast. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Daniela, please. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, uh, would you again explain uh, the difference between career and major? Mm -hmm. So career, oops, career is... It, it's like your job, okay? 
Uh, and the major is like what you study during school. So it's, it's similar, it's like your degree. Okay. Uh, for, well, for example, I am a pharmacist, so uh, my career is pharmacist. Mm -hmm. And my major, I study pharmacy stuff. So how can I say, I major on what? Um, I'm, I majored in pharmacy. Mm, I don't know because I'm not a pharmacist. Hold on. Um, I think you can say farm. Uh, Pharmaceutical engineering. <laughs> Pharmaceutical care. Can you say that? I don't. I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. But, um, oh, I major in the field of pharmacy. Okay, you could say that. Mm-hmm. I majored in the field of pharmacy. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, and then your career, your career is like, it's, it's the same for yours. It would be, I have a career in the field of pharmacy. For yours, mm -hmm. it's the same. But, for example, like um, teachers, uh, I majored in education, uh, but... My career is uh, ah career is is being a teacher, right? Yes, I see. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does that make sense to everyone? Um, yes. Okay. Good. Some, some people uh, say have same major and same career. And some people mm -hmm. don't. Yeah. Exactly. Mm, yes. It's really catchy. Well, don't we say uh, that um, a major in pharmacy? Is it? Uh, I majored in pharmacy. Maybe I don't know. Um, I well, don't. Um, like people say, uh, a major in history. In history. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, just a Yeah. So. Or, go ahead. Yeah, I, I guess um, we, we can say that. Yeah, so you can say I majored in history. Um, maybe you can say I majored in pharmacy. I'm not sure. Um, I majored in education. I majored in engineering. I majored in philosophy. Yeah. I majored in. And then the subject, right? It's the same of graduated. Um, but graduated means like you you finished and you completed school. Okay. Major tells you exactly what your degree was in. Okay. Right? Okay. Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Um. Okay. Does that make sense to everyone? Yes, thank you so yeah. much. Okay, very good. Mm, all right, we will, let's see. Uh, do you all want to try an advanced clip? Yes. Yes, yes. of course. Okay, <laughs> yes, of course. Okay, good. All right, um, this one is going to be talking about a flower shop. So... Um, I will give y'all time to go and listen to that. So y'all can start now.
Okay. Is everyone finished? Yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. All right, we are going to try. So, Narelle, you are going to start us off with okay. number one. Okay. Why does the man want to buy flowers for his wife? I think because he didn't remember the day they got married. married. Yes, exactly. Because do you remember what the the lady said? Um, she told him that in general men do that. Uh, mm -hmm. They forget because they get involved in work, in mm -hmm. their work, and they forget about their private life. Good. So, pretty much he's not the only one in the market. <laughs> <laughs> Many men do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently all men do this, apparently, oh, yeah. according to the flower shop lady. Yep. All right, very good. Yeah, so he forgot the anniversary. Okay. Um, number two. Let's see. Uh, let's see. David? David? Okay. Oh, I, I forgot to unmute. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, the flowers symbolize the thoughts on main by saying that they are uh, neglectful and cheap. Very good. Perfect. Neglectful and cheap. All right. Number three. Uh, let's see. Ken? Number three, uh, near the beginning of the conversation, what is the one thing that a woman suggests the man for his wife? Uh, probably uh, A, take his wife to an elegant restaurant. Mm -hmm. mm. Very good. All right, and let's see, number four, Pietro. Okay. Why does the man panic when seeing his wife outside the store? Or, uh, I don't understand if it's B or C. Maybe C, but I'm not sure. If his wife will think he's buying the, the flower for somewhere else, somewhere else. It's but I'm not sure. <laughs> it's actually she will realize he spaced uh, when it came to their important day. So when you space okay. on something, um, it means you forget. Okay. okay. So the correct is E. Uh huh. A. She will okay. realize he spaced. Yep. Very good. Um. Number five, Andre. Yeah, uh, what is the most plausible ending to the conversation? Uh, plausible ending. Uh, I think the forest delivers the flowers to the man because he is embarrassed. You think that's the most plausible? You think it's the most likely? Uh, Why do you say that? Why do you say C? And what does does the plausible mean? It means the most likely. Uh, likely. Uh huh. So what do you think is going to happen? I think it's B. 
it's more likely that be the man begs his wife to forgive him. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Because he, he bought only two roses, right? And uh, the A is not correct. That's so that's why it's a B. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and the florist didn't seem too happy with him. So I don't think she would do him any favors. I don't think she would help him. <laughs> All right, good. I think it's B2. Does anyone have a different answer for uh, number five? I think it's B. Why? Well, uh, as you say, uh, it doesn't seem that the woman, the florist, is very happy <laughs> with the man. <laughs> so I don't think she will deliver. She already did him a favor. Good. So, yeah, so I don't think she will add more favor to this. <laughs> and also, she told him, be men and go outside and just talk to your wife. So she was encouraging him to go outside and talk to his wife. Um, yeah. Very good. Good explanation. I like it. Oh, go thank ahead. you. Thank you so much. However, um, I'm a little bit confused about number four. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, because uh, why does the man panic uh, when seeing his wife outside the store? She will realize he's faced their important day. Um, I mean, I don't see how how she will think about her marriage day and flower. I don't know. It seems like a little bit confusing. Wait, so what's, what's, you don't think she'll be mad that he's picking up flowers because it's their anniversary? Well, if, uh, if, uh, their, uh, if their anniversary already, uh, the date already passed out. Uh-huh. Uh, passed? So, mm -hmm. Passed. So, um, and he's in the florist and he's buying some flower. And oh, good point. Yeah, I would think that he's doing... Maybe if I don't trust him, I would just think that he is buying it for someone, someone else. I won't even think that. I don't know <laughs> that he forgot. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good point. That is interesting. Yeah, because I don't think that would be my first thought either. I wouldn't think, oh, he's buying flowers because he forgot. No. Um, so I see I see your point. I don't know. Yeah. I guess it's the best option out of the three. Exactly. Yeah. Because um, it never said anything about uh, the wife thinking that he's, he's cheating on her. It never said anything about spoiling a surprise. So that's why I think a is the best option, but you're right. It's still it's still a very weird option. Good point. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ah, good question, Andre. She'll wring my neck. Class, does okay. anyone know what that means? And it's spelled like this: ring my neck. Ring uh, shot. Oh wait, hold on. One person at a time. <laughs> Like cat. Like cat? what? Like cat? cat. Cat. Yeah. Like a cat? No. <laughs> okay. Catch. Catch. Uh, so um. No, it means she'll get really, really mad. Uh -huh. So, yeah. When you when you use, it's like an expression. So when you say, uh, "I'll wring his neck if he does that." again or something I don't know um, it's something you say when you're really angry and the visual the visual to like wring your neck is like I'm gonna wring his neck like that right so it's similar to like uh, okay ah. okay when you have when you have a towel and it's wet you wring you wring out the water 
Okay, does that make sense? So it's like to wring someone's neck, it's just an expression. It doesn't mean you're literally going to go and wring his neck. It's just a, an expression you say when you're really angry. Okay? Mm -hmm. Idiom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's similar to an idiom. Mm -hmm. um, another thing I wanted to point out from this reading. What does it mean when she says, in the doghouse? Uh, in trouble. Uh, in in a bad situation. Yeah. In trouble. Yeah, it's when you're in trouble. You're in a bad situation. Uh, usually, um, it's used very commonly when a husband uh, does something wrong and the wife says, you're in the doghouse. Okay? <laughs> right? It's always the husband's fault. Always. <laughs> Does that make sense, guys? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Well, very good. Um, this was the end of this class today, so hopefully this helps with your listening. And um, I hope that you all have a great rest of y'all's day. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Bye.